Oh, g'day guys, it's Sam here and today we're finally doing a rig rundown on the Built Not Bought truck. Alright, so uh, starting from the front I think. Standard bull bar. Everyone actually asked me about this, but all I've done really is the paint and uh, added these little Allen key screws in there. Um, lighting wise, steady side lights, a couple of small ones in here that not many people notice. Two spotties and the light bar up top. Um, winch is just a, it's a dominator actually. All right, working down the side, we've got a couple of the new clear view mirrors. I love those things, they're so big. Indicators, and on the other side you've got your, your blind spot and all that stuff on there as well. The tray was homemade. I didn't get that in the actual episodes, but it's just a steel frame with a four millimeter thick aluminium bed, I think it was, just to keep the weight down. Uh, what else you got? Drawer at the back. The drawer is, I think, 1400 long. Keep all my recovery gear and stuff in there, so, oh, where you going? So when the canopy's off, you have everything with you still. Um, Max tracks, two spare 35 inch tires. Um, it's got the standard two fuel tanks. 75 litre sub and the 90 litre main. Um, let's go under the bonnet. Oh! All right, hopefully you know by now, it is the L98 six litre with a Harrop 2300 supercharger. Um, it's had a bit of internals work done as well. It's got our CP Corello 13cc dish pistons, H-beam scat rods, and um, a full balance and rebuild, rebore, 10 thou on the crank, and um, puts out about 430 horsepower and 700 newton meters at the tires. So enough for this. It's pretty heavy, but it still goes all right. Dual battery system in here. Just getting tired. Getting tired? Uh, yeah, dual battery system, I've just got a yellow top from my auxiliary and a main starter, which I'm actually changing that for some, just a century or something, that thing's going flat. Managed by the Red Arc uh, Smart Isolator. Radiator is just the Adrad 52 mil. this one is, with twin um, spool 16 inch thermo fans. And um, what else? Headers are advanced headers. They're ceramic coated inside and out, as well as I've put fiberglass heat wrap on there uh, to keep the temperatures down, because it does get pretty hot in here especially the blower as well. Um, intake, I've got a Axis Fabrication 4 inch stainless steel snorkel with black powder coating into the Axis Fab air box and then my friend Josh Church has ticked up this 4 inch stainless intake and um, it seems to breathe alright. The tuner said uh, there was no issues with the air intake which I thought might have been an issue because of the blower but um, that air box seems to work fine. It's got a k and filter in there. Um, yeah, nothing else really exciting in here. Inside the car Okay, now inside the car, actually quite a lot's been done, which may surprise some of you, but this dash is not the dash that was in this car. The old Utes had the old brown Series 1 dash, so I've actually changed this whole interior out, including the door cards. I've added electric windows, because it was a DX with windy windows. I've added central locking, and um, yeah, so that's all changed. Got the nice chrome gauges and cluster in there. This is the TI model. He's just going to hit the door. <laughs> TI model air conditioning system. A lot of people love what I've done here as well. I've actually got an iPad in for the main GPS unit, but up top I've used a uh, quite a narrow head unit. It's an Android. It's a Parrot Asteroid Smart head unit, which houses all of the um, kind of stereo stuff going on in there. Obviously got all my GoPros mounted for filming stuff. Um, got my UHF, just a uni den with a repeat function. Um, center console has been added. I've got two chargers in here, just like the last car. So I've got four USB outputs for charging phones, camera gear, all that stuff. Um, the winch, same setup as on my wagon, if you've seen that. Um, there's an out and an in, so I can hook the winch up and control it from in here. There's a button for the actual uh, connecting the batteries together, the jump itself. And I've also got manual control of the thermo fans. Now this is important. What I've actually done is there's a three-way switch. So one lets it be controlled by the ECU. Then you go to the middle slot, which is turning it off for water crossings. 
then the bottom one keeps it turned on for when you're ripping through the dunes and that and um, keeps the thing cool. Other than that, made a roof console, the highlighter switches for the lights, uh, lockers, so it's got front and rear lockers as well. And um, all the electrics are on the backboard here. I'll show you a shot of that as well. Basically all the fuses for the accessories in the car, running off ignition and auxiliary uh, control from there as well as the relays. Um, go to the canopy. All right, canopy was also made in the backyard using two millimeter full aluminum. The frame and the skin is all alloy to keep the weight down. Inside here, gas struts, lights up here. There's a um, lithium iron battery that I've used in here. They're really good because you can actually run them right down to pretty much zero and it will keep its 12 volts. I've um, got a little power unit up here with switches so I can actually switch the fridge, the freezer, side lights, interior lights, all that's on here. Um, the fridge is pretty cool, it's a ridge rider, but it's got a drawer here so I can actually access stuff quite easily without using a fridge slide. Just got a couple of the Titan drawers here. One's for all the camping gear, gas cooker, pots, pans, all that crap. The other one is, uh, well it's for food, but there's a whole lot of other crap in there at the moment. Up top I can just store boxes. There's a, an army box in the middle there with like um, spare parts. I've got spare alternator, spare starter motor, stuff like that. And there's also toilet paper, washing detergent, all that crap is in this one. Um, I've got a, I'll show you on the other side, there's actually plumbed up gas um, to a gas bottle so I can put the cooker straight in. Put the t oh, I forgot to bring the table. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can plug your cooker in there and turn the gas on and it's all ready to go. Same with the water, I've got two 20 litre tanks and it's just gravity fed so you can have running water for doing your dishes and everything. Um, there's a bit of a roll bar going on in the back. It's actually to support the spare tires. Because this is alloy, I've used a steel frame to support the weight of those tires. And it also, when I roll it, not if, um, it'll uh, save the back there. There's also a thousand watt inverter, um, fuses, isolated to turn the whole thing off. And the whole thing plugs in with a trailer plug and an Anson plug for signals and power. Ah, in here, I forgot to mention this. This, I need my key. This is a recent upgrade I did for my air system. Basically, I've got my compressor in here, but it also it's the airbag man kit, so I can turn this on and um, raise and lower the height of the back. Um, so I can, well there's an air tank as well, so it holds pressure. I can raise the height of one side, drop the height of the other. So you, if you're at camp, you can level it for the tent. Um, or just obviously the weight of the canopy, you need to bring it back up to standard. And I've got that bag here so I can pump my tires up as well. And um, she's all watertight in there. And so quickly come on the other side. Yeah, so these Max tracks are actually gonna end up on the other side of the rooftop tent on its own little bracket. They're just sitting here for now because I haven't got around to that. But in there's all my tools, recovery gear, I mentioned that before. Here's the... Uh, Fire extinguisher for a start. I've got two fire extinguishers on board. Very important in a four drive with a lot of electrics, a lot of expensive gear to have a fire extinguisher. I highly recommend that. Right next to the gas bottle, of course. And then the two water tanks that I mentioned earlier, are just in here, got me firewood. And this Waco is a freezer. If I ever go on like a longer trip, so I can freeze food and store it there. Other than that, it's just a whole lot of space to put stuff, merchandise and whatnot. If you want to buy some, link in the description. Last thing. Well, actually, I don't know. All right, last thing is what's underneath the car suspension-wise. I'm sure you would have seen these on my episodes. There are uh, two specific to suspension if you want to check them out. But it's got a uh, four-inch lift with Dobson coils. The uh, shocks are King's 2.5's uh, remote reservoir. They've got 22 clicks of adjustment there. Valved by my friend Mike from Mike's Shock Shop. Um, the, is it the Airbag Man airbags in the rear. All the arms are superior. Rims are fuel lethal uh, eight by 15 with Alaska's crocodile mud terrain 35 inch tires. Um, other than that, it's just exhaust, what I mentioned was from Advance, but they also built the rest of it as well, which is custom made. It's a single three and a half inch to a twin three inch mandrel bent 304 grade stainless steel system, which is Sounds bloody amazing, to be honest. And um, that's what's going on under there. Last thing's just the tent. As I mentioned earlier, I'll open that up so you can have a look. 
side, the tent goes up. That's pretty much bed made and uh, there's a solar panel in there as well. So in the morning you can set the angle of the car to meet the sun to charge your battery. There's little windows that go out once they're up now. Um, the only other thing is the awning. This is part of the package from Alucab. Goes right around like that. Ugh. And that's the rig. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of this car out on trips. The actual build, you can go back and have a look at that. And um, there'll be plenty more stuff I'm doing on it, as well as plenty more trips using it. So I'll uh, see you in the next one, guys. Take it easy. Peace. If you like this channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button? And I promise, tomorrow morning you'll wake up with a bigger lift and tyres on your four-wheel drive.